It's an anthology of black poets, um, all poems about nature. Um, a lot of times when people think of black poets, they automatically think that it has to be political. Sometimes it's not, sometimes it's about a flower. Sometimes it's about a flower and it's still political. Um, we're not a monolith. Um, and so that's why I love this book. Um, and so this is from a section called Pests. And this one is called, For Those Who Need a True Story by Tara Betts. The landlord told Raymond's mother that $12 would be deducted from their rent for every rat killed. She sends her son to the store for a loaf of Wonder Bread and five pounds of ground beef. Young Raymond returns with bread and meat that she tears and mixes inside a metal bowl. Mama seasons the meatloaf with rat poison pulled from the cabinet beneath the sink. Well done meat sits steaming in the middle of the kitchen floor. Then the scratching scurries, the squeaking begins and screeches toward the bowl. Raymond describes the wave of rats like a tidal crash covering the bowl, leaping over each other's bodies, then the dropping, the stutter kicks. A chorus of rat screams ramble through Raymond's ears, keening furry bodies, tense paws against churning guts as they hit cracked linoleum until an hour passes. Silence swept away the din and death's footsteps. The mother's voice quivers and her next request, Raymond, help me count them. They waded through these small deaths with rubber gloves, listened to the thump of each dead rat as it rustled against the slackness of plastic bags. Raymond wanted to stop counting, but Mama needed to save a dozen dollars wherever she could if they wanted to finally leave the rats behind. After the last rat was counted, Raymond handed the bag to the landlord as proof. Here, enough rats to skip the rent for three months, enough rats to avoid the fear of sweet sleeping breath leading to bitten lips. Healthy children wrapped in designer dictates cannot describe Raymond's fear of rabies, the smell of poison rotting from the inside out, the scratching inside the walls at night. Those children should find soft lives that drop pendulums in their dreams and never tell another story about the ghetto until they've had to count rats with their hands.